the strangest thing you've ever spent money on? In the latest episode of our web feature, The Dig, CBS 2's Elle McLogan found a shop in Williamsburg selling items you might not expect. I was walking in Brooklyn when I spotted this giant warehouse with all these curious objects spilling out the door and onto the sidewalk. I had to know what it was. It turns out it's called Brooklyn Junk, commonly referred to as Mother of Junk, and I quickly found out why. This is a second-hand store. How would you describe the wares generally? What do you offer here? People see a lot of antiques, and, and we certainly sell antiques, but junk is, is what we consider it all junk. Our goal is just to, to sell as much junk as we possibly can. <laughs> How would you describe the aesthetic of the place? It's like you talk somebody out of being a hoarder and they decided to put a price tag on everything they were piled under. Wait, are these just photos of strangers? Yeah, <laughs> there's two bins of them. People come and buy these photos? Buy a lot of photos. It's, it's all we can do to keep it full, really. Wow. I love places like that. Isn't this wild, though, that they would have family photos I know, and of actually complete sell. strangers? <laughs> I was thinking, who would buy this stuff? He was saying that some people come in for set design, prop design, mm. but a lot of people just come to buy it because they think it's interesting. I just couldn't believe that they have used postcards of you know loved ones writing to each mm -hmm. other overseas. From I saw one dated to 1960, and I was getting kind of emotional looking oh. at this stuff, like windows into other people, people's lives from the past. It was really special. Now, what kind of prices are we talking? about they must be pretty low they're, they're pretty low it's all very reasonable a, a big range I mean they have all different the, what the most expensive item that he showed me was this giant glass sculpture that was a thousand dollars oh wow but everything else is considerably less okay any idea where this stuff comes from they won't tell me it's a really secret. yes he said we can't tell you where we get our get our stuff because we don't want to reveal it to our competitors interesting so. all right well thank you for that insight because sometimes I pass this place that I have not been inside mm -hmm. and you got out without buying anything. I did, but I have to go back. I've been thinking about a lot of the stuff. I mean, there's so many treasures yeah. there, and you can see a lot more of the things that I found in the full episode. All right, Elle, thank you so much. Thanks, Cindy. <laughs> For Elle's full episode and to check out all of her videos, go to cbsnewyork.com slash the dig.